All right, guys, I wanted to talk about the first look at some of these photos for the new live action Aladdin movie coming in 2019. In this video, I'm just going to like give my opinion on the pictures and, you know, give my thoughts on the movie. So these photos were first posted on Entertainment Weekly. And as you can see from like the cover of Entertainment Weekly, we got the some of the main stars of the movie. The three we got Aladdin. Jasmine and Jeannie on there you can as you can see a genie is played by Will Smith Aladdin will be played by Mina Masood. I hope I pronounced that right and Jasmine will be played by Naomi Scott so like our Mina Masood, I don't know if y'all watched the show but he came out in Amazon's Jack Ryan show and Naomi Scott y'all might recognize from the Power Rangers movie that came out in 2017 my first thoughts when I saw first saw this picture was it went immediately straight to uh, Will Smith as the genie. Now, I, I guess I was a little bit like thrown back on like how he looks. I wasn't exactly expecting this kind of look. You know, you can see his goatee right there. He has like his, you know, kind of high top pony right there. Um, at first, I was like not completely on board with this look. I'm like, I'm not com still completely on board with this look. But, like, I'm kind of warming up to it a little bit the more I look at it. I know there has been some issues on social media about why Will Smith's genie is not blue in this picture. Now, Will Smith has gone on and stated on social media that genie will, in fact, be blue in the movie. He will be like a CGI character and he will be blue for most of the movie. Is just that this picture that they put is actually what he would look like in his human form. So if you're worried about him being blue, don't worry too much about it. Will Smith has gone on to state that Genie will be a CGI blue character in most of the movie. Moving on to Aladdin and Jasmine. Looking at them, their designs aren't too bad, actually. Uh, I can see, like, you know, with Aladdin, I really want them to, like, keep that kind of raggedy you know, street type kind of clothing. And if, judging from this, it looks like, you know, he's kind of raggedy and like, and no, it looks like it's like, you know, kind of worn down kind of clothes. So uh, maybe a little adjustment here and there on the clothing can make it just a little bit better. But overall, this is not too bad of a look. On Jasmine, you know, you got her iconic blue, like clothing that she wears, kind of the dress type kind of. And this one is not bad design. Of course, in the animation, it didn't have too much details, but of course in live action, you're able to add more details to the clothing and the outfit. So here we got the picture to actually see like a full details of her clothing that she will be wearing in the movie. And it's actually not too bad of a design on her either. Now this next picture is actually of Abu the monkey. And I mean like you can't really mess up. A monkey, of course, it's probably going to be CGI. I don't know if they're actually using a real monkey or not. I mean, they could be. You never know. But, I mean, like, you can't really mess up a monkey too much. And for, from this picture, you know, it looks like a live-action monkey. And you can see he's wearing his outfit. You can see kind of his little little hat that he's wearing on his head also. So, like, you know, overall, he looks good, if, uh, good for live-action. And I got really no complaints about it. This next picture that we got is of Aladdin and Genie. And this is, like... Sort of that casual setting that they're in. You can see Aladdin just sitting there. And you get like a better look at what he would be wearing in the movie. And I kind of like. Like you know it's not too bad of a look. I kind of like how it looks worn down. Kind of dingy kind of street type look. And then you see Genie a little bit better. With the way his hair is going to look. And then the way his outfit will look. And you know like I was saying before. His outfit is actually not too bad. I'm kind of warming up to it a little bit. Um, I mean, I guess it's just weird seeing Will Smith with like a goatee and like kind of that high top kind of ponytail right there. But, you know, we'll see how the final look comes out looking like in the movie, you know, so I'm not going to be judging it too early right now on how it looks. So this next picture that we got is a picture of Aladdin and Jasmine. And then we get like a sense of the setting that what sort of what it look, is going to look like in Agrabah and judging from this like picture this looks like where Aladdin and Jasmine first meet where like Aladdin or not Aladdin but where Jasmine is actually trying to disguise herself 
And like if this is the look that they're going with with Jasmine trying to disguise herself when she goes into Agrabah and she first meets Aladdin. I mean, this needs to do a better job of disguising her. Like, you know, in the movie, she was like fully covered up. I mean, I'm, I don't know if they're necessarily going with that. Like, they're trying to give her a different design or, you know, disguise when she's trying to hide when she goes into Agrabah. Like, I don't know the story, what they're going with. But, like, if that's what they're going with, they need... I mean, it needs to be a little bit better than that if they're trying to disguise her, you know? Here we got a picture of Aladdin actually holding some kids back. Maybe from a possible threat. This is probably, uh, you know, like, it's in the city of Agrabah the setting of it and maybe he's holding them from a possible threat where i'm not sure what threat could be it may could be the guards or somebody else that's there and he's holding them back and judging from this picture it looks like you know he's actually going to be like that hero type the one thing i want them to be able to do in this movie that they did in the animation and i hope they keep in this movie was one of the main like one of the main things that aladdin was is that he was like you know the, the way they phrase it in the movie was he was a diamond in the rough. Now, I want them to be able to keep that kind of going in this live action movie. I want them to keep that sort of hero type that Aladdin was. And, you know, the quotation marks of, you know, the diamond in the rough. I hope they keep that in the movie, the live action movie. And judging from this, it seems like he's actually protecting the kids. And then maybe, you know, being in front of the other people also. From the possible threat that is actually in the movie. In this picture, we get a better look at some of the other parts of Agrabah. And, like, judging from this scene, it looks like this is the scene where Aladdin and Jasmine are actually being chased. Judging by the way they are positioned and the way it looks like they're actually running away from something. So, this is probably the possible chase scene. And, you know, it's not too much to go off of. But, you know, it actually looks like a good setting as far as Agrabah goes. You can see... How the Agrabah, a little part of it is going to look like. So actually it's not too far away from what it could look like in the movie. Here we got Jasmine and what look, may look like a like party type gown or dress. Um, I think they said something about there was supposed to be like some sort of some kind of party. Where like suitors are, they came for Jasmine and then you know she's trying to choose a suitor. Um, I think that's what they were mentioning in this, that will happen in this movie. So this looks like it could be like the dress that she was wearing at the uh, party. And, you know, not a bad design on the dress. You can see some of the pinkish color there with some details and some lines. And it looks like she has one of those, uh, I think it's called like a train that's running down the back of her and running down the stairs with her. So, you know, on this dress, this gown, wherever you want to call it, is actually not a bad design. It looks pretty good. So here in this picture, we actually get a better look at what the dress that Jasmine will be wearing will look like. And it's like, you know, your standard blue dress. And then with some added extra details in there, you know, it's actually not a bad design. Um, looking at the bottom part more, the bottom part with the way the details are, it kind of looks like it signifies like peacock feathers. I mean, that just kind of looks like at a first glance. Uh, I'm not sure if it will be looking like that exactly, but that's what I see when I first look at it, like sort of like a peacock feathery type design on there. And then we, as you can see, we got her friend next to her, which I believe is played by Nassim Pedrad, which is an, uh, she's a Saturday Night Live alum. So, you know, just, uh, they, that was actually a new character that they uh, made up into this movie. It was not a character that was in the original animation but this is a new character that they developed to put in this movie to act as, you know, just so that she could have a friend to talk to in a movie besides her Tiger Raja. So here we get our first look at Jafar, which will be played by Marwan Kinzari. I hope I pronounced that right. But we get our first look at Jafar and some of the clothing that he will be wearing. Now, one thing I see in this is like he's wearing mostly black with the hints of the red in there and at this like in my opinion this look is actually not too bad whenever i first look at this clothing that he will be wearing it gives off that sense of like powerful kind of look that he not as soon as you see him you just know he is the main threat he's the villain of this movie when you first look at the clothing he's wearing and first look at him so this look is not a bad design in my opinion 
And, you know, it's actually like it, as soon as you see him, you know, he's going to be the villain. Not, not, that's what I could say about that. Like when I first look at this. But those are the first look like photos at where we'll be getting some of the photos that they showed in Entertainment Weekly. And like some of the first looks that we'll be getting from the movie. And, you know, overall, the looks like across the board are not too bad. Just, you know, just a few adjustments here and there can make it a little bit better. But overall, it's like, you know, it's not too bad of designs. I'm really hoping this movie turns out good. Uh, I know it's Guy Ritchie that is directing this movie. And, you know, watching previous Guy Ritchie movies, it's always been a hit or miss with me on his movies. But, you know, I hope for the best that the movie would turn out good. And I hope it's, you know, brings like that sense of nostalgia from the animation and also to, you know, kind of reinvents the movie a little bit and like makes it good and all honesty really if they made a shot for shot uh of the animated movie i actually wouldn't be upset about it like because you know the anime movie is good the anime movie was at uh like aladdin was actually the first one of the first disney movies i ever saw as a kid is what got me to like disney got me to like the disney anime movie so actually if they did a shot for shot remake of the animated movie i actually won't be upset about it. i know people have had their doubts and like you know people are complaining that they don't like shot for shot remakes of the animated movies but you know if they did that i won't be too upset about it um in other words though i would actually like them to actually kind of not necessarily make a shot for shot remake but you know if they happen to reinvent it somewhat i would be okay with that also i guess one of my biggest worries is with what Will Smith would be doing as the genie. Now, you know what? Robin Williams, he has such a great performance in the animated movie of Aladdin. Like, his performance as the genie is, like, so iconic. So, I really hope that Will Smith does a good job with the genie. And I hope he doesn't really do, like, a shot-for-shot shot remake of what Robin Williams did. I really want Will Smith to be able to kind of do his own thing with the genie. But also, too, at the same time, kind of capture the same kind of magic that Robin Williams was able to do, you know, but like Will Smith has gone on to say he's actually doing his own thing. He's not going to copy what Robin Williams was able to do with the performance of Genie. He says he's doing his own thing, but he hopes he's able to capture the same kind of magic that Robin Williams did. And like, I really hope the best for Will Smith. He's able to do a great performance for this Genie in the movie. I hope he does a good job with it. Um, I can't wait for his movie. I'm definitely going to go check it out once it comes out. And, you know, I, I just really hope it turns out good. But let me know down in the comments what y'all think of this movie at the first look photos that y'all see. And are y'all excited for his movie to go see it? Just let me know what y'all think overall in the comments below. And I'll see y'all next time. Have an awesome day. And remember, be legendary.